Today's video is sponsored by Wondershare Filmora. Hello everyone, so sometimes I become questions from my friends or from people on Instagram or on YouTube asking me about the program that I use to make all my YouTube videos. So today I'm going to introduce this program to you. Everything you saw, if you know this channel, everything you saw on YouTube or my old B-rolls on my uh, Instagram stories, all of them I made with this program which I'm going to introduce to you today which called Filmora. I'm going to open this program in front of you. I will show you the main techniques or the must use techniques by me. I mean, I will show you everything I use, the transitions, uh, for example, making slow motions or making um, time lapse, anything I used in YouTube. I will show you today. I will show you the must, as I said, the must used feature by me in this program and all the things that you can do or I mean all the features that this program can give you to make professional video editing for your channel. So the link to the program is in the description below and if you click on that link it will take you to the main website of that program which is called Filmora 9. As you can see here you have free download and you have buy now. By free download you can download this program and use it for free for 14 or 30 days. I'm, really, I'm sorry I'm really not sure about the number of the days but after exporting the video you will have a watermark with the name of the program because this is a free download version or free version. If we want to click on buy now as you can see here are the plans that you have and you can choose one of them annual plan, lifetime plan and annual bundle plan. The difference in this lifetime plan and annual bundle plan from the annual plan is that you have unlimited downloads from the film stocks standard library which means you can use a lot of film stocks if you want for example to search for b-roll specific b-rolls for your youtube videos you can have this feature or this option in these two plans but not in this plan and the second one new effects every month so as you can see right here after downloading the program it will look exactly like that this is the main window of the program and here we have all the sections that we will use right now and i will explain every one of them i will try to cover everything but i will try at the same time not to make this video so long i will try to make it between 10 and 15 minutes not more than that so i will start from the beginning i will now import any clip or any footage to work with so i will click easily here and i will select this video for example my youtube video and i will open it so as you can see here i have the media that i have just imported all the media the video and the photo for example if i want to import also these photos so as you can see i will have here everything the video the audio and the photos so i will take this video and i will drag it easily to my timeline here as you can see right here the program is telling me that my video that i have just exported is 30 frame per second so you have two options with the project of the program or to match the project of the program to the frame of the video so i will choose this one to match the frame of the project that I have to the frame of the video because I don't want to change the frame of the video I will keep the video as it is here this is my video right here and I will click this small icon here zoom to fit timeline because my video is longer than my timeline I will click it right that and I will have all the video right now let's say that my video start right here because I don't want to have all anything like at the beginning I have just made I have already made transition or something like that so I will I need my video to start easily like that so as you can see right here the video start directly without any transition without any effect so let's say for example that I want the video to start with the fade effect which means start from the black slowly to the beginning of the video I like if you know me I like this effect a lot and I use it I would say 90% or 90-90% with all my videos so I will come to the transitions as you can see here and I have a lot 
a lot of possibilities. As you can see, I have 233 transition. The most used one by me is fade and dissolve. I like to use it the most because I don't use the others because I don't have a lot of, you know, I, I, I like to have slow movies or I mean I like to have slow bureaus and with slow music something like that that's why the fade effect is the best for me so I will drag it and put it right here for example so now the video will start from black slowly as you can see and if you want to make it also longer than that you can double click on the transition itself and as you can see you can adjust the time of the transition let's say instead of two seconds i want to make it something like five seconds as you can see now i have a bigger transition so you can adjust the transition even from here as you want if you want to make it that manually with hand you can adjust the transition as much as you can so let's try another transitions for example this one for example here so let's see what what it does so as you can see so this is the first thing i wanted to talk about another thing i use always at the beginning of my videos or even at the beginning of every clip after i make cut because i don't want I, or i don't like the sound to be so um so loud at the beginning of the of the clip or at the beginning of the footage and i can do that by double clicking on the video itself and as you can see now i have new window with all the editing possibilities for video audio color and motion and by audio here now i have fade in and fade out so the fade in let's say for example i want something like five seconds let's click five point five seconds fade in as you can see because i made it five seconds i have right now the fade here on the timeline also i can click on it and i can adjust the fade in as i want i can make it long as much as i can so another thing i have here is a equalizer i i can't say that word <laughs> as you can see we have also a lot of possibilities and if you want you can choose custom and you can edit the sound oh sorry you have to click customize and now you can edit the sound as you want and we have also remove background noise we have weak, medium, and strong. I haven't used this method actually because the most of my videos are outside, and when I record inside, there's no there's no noise. I <laughs> close the window and I make sure that there's no noise in the room. So another thing I use sometimes is that you can also make the clip louder. As you can see right here so sometimes for example when i record a video and i my mouth is a little bit far away from the mic what i do is i select that small footage and i make the sound louder by applying that here so what i like always to do with the timeline is that i click on the timeline itself here and i drag it to the right so i can see every single frame and I can be exactly sure where I am cutting the clip, for example, or where I am applying the effect that I want. So another effect I use sometimes is that, for example, I have two clips. I want the sound of this clip to stay, but I want to start with this clip. I think I call it sound cover or something like that. I will show you how I can do like that. So let's say, for example, that I want to start the sound here. But at the same time, I want this B-roll. So I will come to the beginning and let's say that I want to take two seconds sound from this clip here. So now I am exactly at eight seconds, 32. I will go to, I will select this and I will write 10, 32. So I have now two seconds from this clip. I will cut it and I will right click on this clip and I will select detach audio which means now i have the audio of this clip and i have the clip 
itself. So let's say that I want to put these two seconds, as I said, this sound I want me during speaking, I want to put it here. But the problem is that I have now, I have two sounds here. So I will come exactly to the beginning of my sound here. I will cut the above video here or this small b-roll I will cut it and I will right click on it and I will make mute so easily so as you can see the sound right here is not blue anymore which means it's muted and I have the sound of this small video so it will be like that so as you can see my sound started here and came directly with the beginning of this clip So other thing, other thing that I use always is the color grading or editing the color I mean of the video. So I will select the video and I have here this small icon advanced color tuning. So as you can see right here in this new window I have presets. You can choose one of them here. What I like about using this preset or any other preset I mean is that you can adjust this preset not only using it. After using it you can adjust this preset as you want you want to adjust the white balance for example color exposure brightness contrast vibrance saturation everything you can adjust manually with hand highlights shadows for example i can tag take off the highlights i can open the shadows a little bit i can also take off the plug or increase the plug i mean by color I can go back a little bit with vibrance I can increase the contrast as you can see you can do a lot of things like you are editing in right drum or Photoshop so another effect that I sometimes use is the slow motion and making time-lapse so as you can see I'm uh, selecting this clip right here and I can click on this speed click on it and I have I can choose custom speed but what I use most of the time I use the 0 0.5 because my phone which I'm recording right now I have the possibility to record 60 frame so when I when I choose 0 0.5 that means that I make the 60 frame 30 frame I'm taking the half of the number so as you can see right now if I click that the clip will be double the space so the other one is I have fast with time lapse actually I use it manually I do it manually I don't have specific um, method I use I try to adjust the speed manually I let's say for example this clip here I click on it after that I come to custom speed and I can make it <laughs> as much as I can there's really no specific uh, method I use I adjust the clip sometimes 30 sometimes 60 when i have for example so long clip of for example a lake and moving clouds and i have a clip for let's say one hour so i can make it so fast yeah i forgot to, to talk about something actually which is very important in making in editing the video is this small icon here auto repel off or on i will i will start from the beginning i will show you right here i will go back to media and i will have this photo here for example i will have this photo here i will have this photo here so what will i do right now is that i will make this clip here smaller and i will drag it again to this place so as you can see right now the place of this photo here the place of the three photos changed because I like took the clip a little bit to the left if I don't want to do that I want this photo to be exactly in this place and I want it to stay here I can select this clip and these small photos and I can click here auto repel on so as you can see right now i will show you right now for example i will cut the video like that so as you can see now this is before after before after 
So as you can see, the photos now are moving with the clip itself. Another thing which is very important if you want to make sound cover and you have always whatever you made to the video, whatever effects or edits you made, you have to be sure that the clip and the sound are together. Like here, this clip, as you remember, if you remember, I said that this sound is not for this clip. And let's say, for example, I changed my mind I, I decided this clip to be at the beginning so the sound is not moving with the clip itself and when i have for example five or ten clips with and every one of them different sound and i cut this from here i change it something from here and at the end all of them will be uh, changing and i will have a lot of problem so i can select both of them the clip and the sound itself i will right click and I will click on group and now if I want to change as you can see if I want to change the place of the clip the sound is always with the clip so the last technique for today I want to talk about I think the last one did I forget anything no so the last technique I want to talk about today is how to clone yourself or how to duplicate yourself I did use that once in a video called trust your histogram yeah i think that video trust your histogram not your camera so um, i will show you right now i will record now at the beginning i will record uh, the video in front of you and after that i will show you how i will merge both uh, the both of the clips but what i recommend actually during doing that is not not to use a white background because when you want to merge the two clips you may see the line here between the two clips. So let's say that, for example, my space is at the end of this mic. So I will sit right here and I will talk right now. And me will sit here and look at me when me is talking. <laughs> I will make like that, but I will make sure that my shade is not on this place because it will be visible that my shade is not on the wall when I want to measure them so I will go back and I will sit and I will look at me so something like that let's say something like that yeah it will be good so as you have just seen the most important thing that you have to make sure that there's nothing in common between the two spaces so until here this is me sitting on the right I will cut it here and I will now adjust the other one. So what I will do is I will click on this one and take it above this one. I will go to effects, utility and I will choose image mask and I will take this mask to put it on this clip here. So as you can see now I have this mask passed but I don't want to use the shape of this mask that's why I will double click here I will come to video after that video effects and here I can choose the mask that I want and I want the shape of the mask to be like that this one or this one here because I want the mask to be like that so let's say I will try with this one now and if I want to adjust the space of the mask I can play with X to adjust it like that or I can play with Y to adjust the mask like that so at the end it will look something like that but as I said using a white background is not a good idea the best thing is using a background with there's a lot of information and not a white wall it will be hard to use a white wall in situation like this so thank you very much for watching this video i hope it was helpful for you i hope i could cover every technique every effect or every information that you wanted to know about this program please consider subscribing if you are not already and see you in the next video